Hey guys, this is Amanda from the Tinker Dev Team, and today I'm going to walk you through animating your very own music video. If you follow this tutorial, you might create something that looks a little bit like this. If you're ready to get started, let's go ahead and hop on into the Tinker Workshop. If you start a brand new Tinker project, it'll look a little bit like this. Feel free to stop and start this video and follow along as you make your very own project. Step 1. Choose a background. The first thing you'll want to do when creating this dance party is pick your look. What background do you want the stage to have during this dance party? To do so, go over here where you see the stage listed in the actor list and click on its gear icon. Once you click the gear icon and you see all of the stage's settings, click this Add Background button. Once you're here in the Media Library, you can choose any of the backgrounds Tinker has to offer. There are quite a few here, or you can upload a picture of your own. I'm going to scroll down to the Music category on the left, select it, and pick... I think I like this one here the best. Once I have this background ready, I can exit out of this window, and I'm ready to keep going. Step 2. Add background music. It's not really a dance part without some music playing, now is it? The first thing you'll want to do is once again select the stage over here in the actor list on the right. And once you do that, you should see that the stage doesn't have any code yet. This area is completely empty. Let's change that. The first code block you'll need in the events category is this on start block. You drag that in. Anything attached to this block will run as soon as you press play in your program. The next block you'll need is in the control category. It is the forever loop. The forever loop is a commonly used loop that will repeat any code inside it as long as your program keeps running. And then last but not least, I'm going to scroll down here to the sound category and add the play sound until done block. This entire code taken together will play a sound of your choosing over and over as long as your program's running. To pick a music file to play here, go ahead and click this slot and then click on Add Sound. Again, you can choose a song from the media library, or you can go up here to the Upload a Sound File button and pick your own. I'm going to go down here to the Performance category and pick out a song I like. There we go! This code should repeat our music track over and over. Now, it is good practice when programming to test your code periodically, so I'm going to take a short break here and click play to make sure that my music runs correctly. Sounds like the music's working. Step 3. Choose a character. Now, by default in the Tinka Workshop, if you open a blank project, they'll give you Cody here, as you saw. Cody isn't quite who I want to be in my music video, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on his gear icon over here on the right, and then I'm going to select Edit Character. Once I'm here in the Character Studio, I can customize this character as much as I like. I can either pick a body part as much as I want, or if I click this View All Characters button up in the top left, I can choose a completely different starting point. I'm going to select the Teens category here to choose my starting character. I think I like this artist. I'll go with this artist character. Click Save when you're ready. Now I have my first dancing character for my dance party. I think I'd like to move her around a little bit. To reposition an actor on the stage, you can drag it and resize it with these handles as much as you like. Put it right there. Step 4. Program a dance. I want to make a dance with this character, obviously, or it's not much of a dance party. Some of the code given to Cody by default is what I'm looking for, but not all of it. So I'm going to grab this animate block and just drag this entire chunk out here to the trash can. However, I do want to keep the set rotation style and the forever loop. The main code block I want is here in the animation category. It's the animate and wait block. I'm going to drag one of these into the loop, and then I'm going to select an animation by name. Now, if you don't know what all of these animations do, you can once again go over to your actor's gear icon over on the right, 
and go back to the Character Studio by clicking Edit Character. From here, you can preview animations by name by clicking on all these buttons over on the right. For example, I can do this, I can do this, there's quite a few. Feel free to play around and see what you like. Anyway, I'm going to add a few more steps to this animation. I'd like to animate three dances in a row, but keep repeating that pattern. So I'm going to add two more of these animate and wait blocks. Like that. And let me see. There we go. Now I have a three-step dance. Once again, let's test this and see how it looks. There we go. It looks like that dance is looping correctly. Step five, duplicate the dancer. What I'd like to do in this little dance party is have more than one dancer, of course. Now Tinker comes with the great feature that lets you duplicate an actor you already have, preserving its code and its appearance. So I'm gonna go to my dancing actor's little three dot icon over on the far right, and I'm gonna click that. That opens up this menu. And when I select the duplicate option, bam, makes a copy of my actor. Then you can drag this brand new actor. I'll say, let's put it right here. I can also customize this actor's appearance by clicking on the gear icon again, going back to the character studio, and let me pick somebody else. How about this one? Don't forget to hit save if you make any changes. There we go, now I have two dancers. You'll notice that this new actor has the same dance moves here in the center of the code as the original did. But I do want to make one slight change to this actor's dancing. I want this actor to be facing left so the two dancers are facing each other. For this final step, I'm going to go to the motion category, select it, and scroll all the way down to the point and direction block. Drag this and put it in front of the loop. Then you click on this field here and choose left. Should be negative 90 degrees instead of the default of 90, which is right. Now, let me test this program one last time. Beautiful. And there's your dance party. Now, of course, there's much more you can do with this dance party. You can draw your own actors, you can add graphical effects like color shifts, you can swap backgrounds out. Have fun with it, and let us know what you come up with. Talk to you later.